President Mohammad Buhari has reiterated his administration's commitment to protect children from sexual violence, domestic abuse and exploitation. According to a statement on Tuesday by his special advisor and media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, the president gave the assurance as Nigeria joined the international community to celebrate the Day of the African Child. The SA further quoted the president as reiterating that his administration will continue to ensure that every Nigerian child has access to quality and affordable education by promoting free and compulsory basic education for the first nine years of schooling. President Buhari also encouraged all Nigerians to take a moment to celebrate the African child who he said represented a better future for all. Joining us now is Comfort Ali, Child Protection Network. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Let, let's get right to it. What can President do to ensure that the Nigerian child is better protected? I would like to say first and foremost, um, the, the African child or the Nigerian child is very important and it's very special. And so there's a whole lot we can do to protect the child. Um, we have a whole lot of states that has not started implementing the Child Rights Act. And this is a very important document that all states have to implement. They have to adopt and implement. If the North is not implementing and the South is, is implementing, then there's a difference a lot cannot be achieved, and the, the, the children up north are not protected. So the, the, the governments have to insist that all states must adopt the child rights law and put it into practice, because this is a document that protects every child. Okay, in spite of the fact that these states know that they should be implementing and domesticating this act, that is not happening. What more, again, I ask, can be done, if not at the federal level, but at the uh, state's level by NGOs and other non-governmental agencies to push the states that are yet to adopt the Prohibition Act to do so? So um, a lot of states that um, are still working on it, and a lot of NGOs in different states are coming together to see the possibility of um, pushing it to the government to let them understand the importance of having this implemented. Um, so a lot of NGOs in different parts of the North, as well as the South, under the Child Protection Network, as well as under um, other networks, have started working and been doing that for a very long time to push for the um, adoption. Um, they have also started um, talking to elders and society leaders to make them understand the importance of this document. So even if the governments in the, the state government has not started implementing, local governments mm -hmm. can actually look at these documents as well and see to it how they can domesticate it in their own local governments. And with that, you know, the ripple effect it can go to start affecting other local governments and ultimately the states. Thank you. All right, let's talk about something else that affects children. When we hear social services, sometimes people think it's a foreign feature that it's not, you know, practiced around these um, areas. How effective is social services in Nigeria, for instance, in the protection of the Nigerian child? Social services are very, very important. Because a lot of in, in, in individual organization, as well as um, so in civil society, have been working to protect the Nigerian child. If you look at the case of child abuse, who is championing this, this, um, this um, for us to get justice for these children? It is mostly the um, people working in social services. The government is an, after, is an aftermath. So this, the civil society, and the NGOs have been pushing to get justice for children, where there's domestic violence, where there's child abuse, where there's exploitation. It is the civil society that, that comes forward. So social service is very important because most of the civil society, people in the civil society, the NGOs, the CBOs, they are all given services. And that is very important. <laughs> All right, Comfort Ali, thank you very much for joining us and well done with the job that you do.
Thank you very much.